The hotly anticipated and controversial film, Civil War, made $25.7 million in its opening weekend after scoring impressive numbers in Thursday previews, pushing the film to become the best performing on an opening weekend for production company A24, spurred largely by men and moviegoers in southern states. What kind of American are you? Actor Jesse Plemons, who plays a sadistic soldier in the Civil War film, asks in the movie's trailer 0.83%. That's the critics' score of Civil War on Rotten Tomatoes. Peter Travers of ABC News called the film the most original and propulsively exciting movie of the year so far. Huffington Post critic Candace Frederick contrarily said the film only serves to kick up a lot of dust around controversial topics without actually examining or even adequately portraying any of them. How the movie continues to perform. Civil War opened in 3,395 theaters on Friday and so far has a domestic gross of $25.7 million, more than $50 million less than the $77.1 million earned by Everything, Everywhere, in its theatrical run in 2022. The 2024 box office has suffered under poor expectations brought by last year's Hollywood strikes, fewer films slated for release, and waning moviegoer sentiment. Last year's box office, spurred by the mega success of films like Barbie and Oppenheimer, was the best performance seen since the start of the pandemic with $9 billion domestically. Studio executives have said they expect the 2024 box office to only reach about $8 billion, largely because of the delay of several high-dollar films due to actors and writers' strikes last year. Analytics firm Gower Street this week predicted theater revenues will hit $32.3 billion worldwide, according to The Hollywood Reporter, down from last year's earnings of $33.9 billion. So far, the best domestically performing film of the year is, Dune, Part 2, pushed from a 2023 release due to the strikes, with a $267.1 million gross. Kung Fu Panda 4 Inches is in the number 2 spot with $167.6 million and, Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire, is third with $140 million.